In this video, let's create another impact texture. However, it is going to be, I think, a bit more stylized than the previous one that we've created in uh, other parts. Okay, so I'm going to start with shape. And next, I'm going to use trapezoid. I'm going to disable uh, tiling first, and then I'm just going to create a triangle with it. Next, I'm just going to get transform because I need to scale it down a bit. So I'm scaling this by pressing and holding shift and alt. Okay, and it's scaling the shape towards the center. And with this, I'm just going to get tile sampler. I'm going to get a shape as well here for the mask. I'm going to go for the disc, which I can scale up and down and I'm gonna put this into a mask oops hold on a second mask map input in here I'm just gonna go with a pattern input which I'm also gonna plug this in although let's actually not plug anything into a pattern input and let's choose disk from the list for the shapes I'm just gonna go for maybe 8x8 uh, random scale Okay, maybe some random scale on this axis as well And Y I'm gonna random the position of it and scroll down where you actually have a mask here map uh, mask map threshold And I'm gonna invert it. So basically whatever it's in that circle um, Here it's not gonna be displayed in there tile sampler so now I can scale this down and as you can see we kind of keeping the center of it empty and because of that I'm just gonna blend it with my shape here and I'm gonna use subtract and now I'm gonna go to the tile sampler and tweak a couple settings here so first I'm gonna ramp up the scale change the position of it slightly so I could get a Slightly stylized shape, but pointy. Maybe something like this, but let's maybe go in with that position. Okay, that could work. I'm also gonna go up here when I have amount, maybe half the X amount. Or actually, I wanna keep this eight, and that one maybe I'm gonna put to four. Now I'm gonna play with scale slightly and with this position random as well. And I'm trying to get a bit more stylized shape and that one seems perfect. Okay, next I'm just gonna blur that. Um, maybe let's go with 20. Okay, I'm gonna get this, use blend and try to subtract one from another. However, I wanna create like a nice gradient so I'm just going to get this, use transform, plug it in and preview that node while having selected that one and I can move it slightly down, creating this nice gradient. I'm going to rotate it slightly and I'm just going to go with this. Okay, I'm gonna use histogram scan. Just so I could get the top of it here. And this one, I'm gonna blur it a little bit. I'm gonna put maybe value of three. And I'm gonna see if I can actually blend those two together. So that will be my highlight. I'm gonna get uh, this one and plug it here, but this one I actually wanna blur a little bit more than it is, cause I wanna create this nice glowy highlight at the top. Here I'm just gonna set it to max and we're getting this uh, highlight you can see. Okay, I'm gonna blur this. 
uh, with the value of 2. I'm not sure if I'm going to need that one, so maybe I'll just keep it there just in case. Next, I'm going to warp it uh, with the parallel noise. I'm going to reduce the scale of parallel noise because I just need a very small warp. As you can see, this kind of gives us really nice result, especially here. Okay, next maybe I'm trying to think if we should position it better. However, it kind of sits in the center. So I'm just going to leave it uh, there and I'm going to use uh, slope next. So slope, or actually let's run it through transform first, scale it down a bit because we need this to be smaller with the slope. I'm going to disable tiling as well here. I'm going to plug it into the slope. I'm going to go for shape as well for that soft circle. And that will be our slope. Okay, increase the sample and intensity of it as well. I'm just trying not to go outside of the texture. As you can see, I'm going a little bit there, but it's just slightly. So I'm just going to grab transform and scale it a little bit down. And in here, I'm going to increase the intensity a little bit further. Okay, let's see if we can actually plug our texture back into this. So blend with our texture, set it to mask uh, max. And I'm gonna reduce the, the opacity of it slightly. So I'm just getting slight outline and there. Uh, okay, I'm gonna actually reduce that slope a little bit because I think it's getting a little bit too much. And maybe I'm gonna try to reverse the blend so I can actually decide how much of that slope I want because I want this to be glow rather than a main shape. Okay, so let's go back to transform now and let's see if we can increase the size of it a little bit to the point where we're actually cutting here into the texture. Okay, so I think that's it. Next, I'm gonna get the radial blur. I'm gonna increase the sample, so maybe keep it at 0.1. I copy and paste that with the minus values. I blend them together using the max mode. Hey, whoops, that one seems to have a much larger value, so it will be minus 0.1. Okay, and let's blend that into our main shape, which is that one with the max settings. Obviously, I'm gonna decrease the glow because I just want slight glow here and there around that shape. And the next bit, we could actually go to our splatter that we have here with one of the previous videos, that one copy its settings just bring that splatter here so we can have a nice starting point. I'm gonna go with three uh, pattern amount. Uh, let's see the scale. I'm gonna increase the scale but reduce the radius of it. So as you can see the texture is a little bit problematic because of that thing here so it might not be the best one to use with the splatter so i'm just gonna go with with this and export it as a single uh, texture because i think it might look really cool if we, if we can have two or three of those in the particle system shooting at a random direction rather than having them in the one tech on the one texture because i think that might be our uh, main shape so let me go to unreal engine now and we can use it basically for something like this, which could be as a main shape, because I think it's a very stylized in comparison with our other textures. And I think it could be a good fit for our main uh, stylized part of the effect. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it here. So we've made so far, I think four textures or five, five textures we've got. And I think this one could work 
very nice as well as a single shape but you probably have to run it through the uh, graph that we've got here as well to get additional details like this radial blur and the slope okay so we've got five textures in total we're just gonna plug them into the uh, both engines unity and uh, unreal engine we're gonna create materials all right thank you so much for watching